Это новый вариант Porsche Boxster S. Он This is a new model of Porsche Boxster S. It became a pearl of Frankfurt car showroom. Not only capacity, more than 300 horsepower in the hood, and its irresistible charm. But the number of technology innovations used for its manufacture are highly impressive. For example, its body is maximally strong and light, because its parts are laser welded. Manufacturer of the largest A380 airliner could not go without laser welding. What are laser's potentials? Why cannot shipbuilding, aircraft engineering, automobile and other industries do without laser? Let us tell you in the Technopark program about the places in Russia where the up-to-the-minute technologies of laser application are developed. Zelenograd is the cradle of Russian microelectronics. It is famous for the largest number of companies engaged in this industry in Russia and scientific and research center developing new kinds of equipment for the industry. One of such enterprises manufactures machines capable to perform any operations, from engraving to production of stents, the thinnest metal tubes expanding blood vessels. Nowadays, lasers perform all these manipulations. О вынужденном излучении основном принципе. Прохоров. Прохоров and his student Басов did research in the field of radio spectroscopy, that is, research of molecule absorption spectrums in the radio frequency range, to be more precise, in the microwave range. In 1954, they published their famous article about the use of molecular beams while researching molecule spectra and stated the principle of electromagnetic emission generation on the basis of atom-induced emission. The American physicist Theodore Neyman developed the first optical quantum generator. It was back in 1960. That wizardry looked like a small ruby rod. One of its ends was converted into a mirror. Two more mirror reflectors were above and under the ruby. They were exposed to green light of high power lamp. The emission created in the form of red light pulses was generated through non-silver rod end. The industrial task resolved with the help of lasers was drilling holes in rubies in the production of watches. Before lasers were introduced, this procedure it took 30 minutes. With lasers used, it takes one second. In the 1980s, the Soviet Union produced half of the world watch mechanisms. For example, watches in East European countries and even in England were produced with our watch mechanisms. It was possible because then the Swiss and us had the most advanced technology, the laser one. Moreover, it was introduced in particular equipment. The operating speed of laser allowed its application on automobile conveyor lines. Here robots armed with optical fiber lasers weld body parts in a matter of seconds. This technology is used to improve automobile safety for passengers. For example, this is a tube. Its length is much the same as the length of windshield bar of the car. In fact, in order to prevent from bar carting at this level in a motor car accident, to prevent human losses and cutting of heads, structurally the bar may be welded of several pieces of different thickness and physical and chemical properties of steel. In this case, the bar will be cut significantly higher than the heads of passengers sitting in the car. Only laser is able to provide qualitative joint of heterogeneous parts. It doesn't have defects occurring during common welding. Microfish is in pores inside the weld, which destroy the structure as time goes by. For example, a small automobile plant was constructed in Germany to perform assembly of Porsche boxes special model. 
Its operation was focused on the application of laser technology. And this small sport car is not more expensive than its fellows produced using traditional technology. Moreover, it is able to withstand frontal, forward and rear collisions. This car may be used to play ball. Currently, the range of laser application is much wider. For example, this device processes parts of aircraft engine. During operation, this blade rotates with an extreme speed. Laser burns microscopic holes in the blade to prevent its overheating. Development of any modern helicopter or aircraft engine requires improvement of its technical and economic characteristics. For example, part strengthening, weight reduction, wear reduction, part cooling acceleration, etc. The experience of the last two decades shows that laser technology is able to provide significant assistance in resolving these issues. Today, each eighth processing machine at the plant is a laser one. But concentrated emission beam is only the top of the iceberg. Zelenograd Enterprises manufacture equipment using which laser is able to process parts of any complexity. Laser equipment systems stand on three pillars, that is, laser as an operating tool, the second is kinematics, which ensures movements of parts under laser support, that is, precise mechanics with respective electronic CNC control systems. Finally, it is optics, because laser beam requires not only focusing, but also certain forming. Sometimes it is provided by rather complicated systems, and in all three directions, that is, lasers, mechatronics and optics, the Russian school is at a rather high level. In order to bring laser to the desired position on the process part, Zelenograd engineers use a motor operating based on the same principle as air cushion trains do. So-called anchor moves along the line of powerful magnets. Electricity is supplied to the anchor. Depending on the current strength, the anchor brings the table with a blank part to the desired position with micron accuracy. Direct electromagnetic drive has no mechanical transmissions, therefore there are no free play and mechanical wear. Thus, this thing is nearly perpetual, at least enough for our generation. These machines are equipped with five-axis spatial movement system in order to process complex parts in several planes. But all these technology things are nothing without control system and programs monitoring each operation. Generally, we equip our machines with our in-house software. Nobody has ever complained about our software control. The Russian market of laser equipment is not fully saturated yet. Import helps to resolve this problem. However, not all the things required for this industry are available. There are some restrictions for our country. The vendors cannot always sell us the goods required for our production needs. We face certain difficulties and try to overcome them. On the other hand, buyers purchase willingly our laser technologies. Manufacturers from the CIS countries, Europe and even the United States come to Zelenograd to buy new equipment. We have even sold four machines to the USA one and a half year ago. It was some private firm. If I'm not mistaken, they deal with laser and microprocessing of jewelry. The advantages of laser application in jewelry are well known, but the most surprising way of laser application is its use to measure the distance to the moon. Several special reflectors were delivered to the moon's surface for this purpose. Then a laser beam was sent from the Earth's surface to those reflectors using a telescope, and they measured the time spent for its way to the moon's surface and back. The obtained knowledge was combined with the knowledge about light velocity, which was measured separately for for this research with pinpoint accuracy. Probably in the nearest future, the lasers will be used to research other cosmic bodies, but so far there are much more applications of this technology on the Earth. We have many spheres of work. The equipment for laser adjustment, laser functional adjustment of microelectronic circuits, laser pattern cutting of silicon slabs, laser cutting machines, etc. In the first case, we use pulse lasers with capacity of few or even one watt. But in the pattern cutting machines, cutting metal up to 200 millimeters thick, we use laser with capacity of a few kilowatts, 5 to 50 kilowatts. 
Отдельная тема – лазеры ультракоротких импульсов. Separate topic is ultra-short pulse lasers. They are widely used in ophthalmology. Many of us heard about laser vision correction. However, this technology is applied in other fields as well. Zelenograd designers developed their own configuration of laser machine with femtosecond laser. It is able to perform not just microprocessing, but nanoprocessing parts of nearly all known materials. The new equipment is a co-design of Russian and French experts. The French supply lasers, and Zelenograd equips them with precision mechatronics, optics and software intellect. Now these powerful lasers are widely used for processing of superhard materials, both metals and transparent media. On the whole, the range of application of powerful lasers and technology is very wide. The lasers cut, engrave and recover eyesight. This technology is popular in different industries, but lasers have one more advantage. It's an open market for small companies and it's the industry which is ready to accept innovators and talented engineers. Russian science determined the development of laser technology in many aspects, and nowadays our designers have something to be proud of.